say hi. Is it recording? Let me see. It's like a red dot. It means it's recording, I think. It's a weird camera. I've never used this camera before. Stop. Stop. That's right. That's right. Me and you going undercover. <laughs> like cops. Gonna expose some dirty, dirty justice. Will it be the name of our TV? Go undercover. See what it's really like. School. You know what I mean? Are we? What should our first story be? I don't know. First story. I'll think about it. Sleep on it. All right? I'll sleep on it. Right now. All right. Good idea. I'll do the same. Hey, Sabrina. Hey. What you reading? It's an article on school cafeterias. Really? Sounds interesting, we should check it out. What if our cafeteria is like that? I think it sounds kind of dumb. What if we get in trouble? So what? Wouldn't you rather know the truth? I mean, I guess so. All right, let's go make a story out of it. Alex, what is your... Good. Opinion on cafeteria food. I think cafeteria. Wait, is this? What I, what's your opinions on school cafeteria food? I think cafeteria food is disgusting. Yeah. Cafeteria food. Um, I feel like it's disgusting and greasy. What would you do to fix it? Um, probably make it more nutritional. It's kind of, kind of it's not really healthy for you. Um, I would try and buy healthy your products for students, maybe ones that aren't frozen. Try and make it more fresh. I think we should look in deeper. What do you mean? Well, why don't we go check out the cafeteria? In the cafeteria? We'll never get permission. We don't have to. Many cafeterias don't have working kitchens. Most of the food is prepared off-site. Food is often not kept at the right temperature. Nearly 20% of children in the U.S. are overweight. Up to 60% of the time, health inspectors find a serious violation in school cafeterias. Caution. May cause intestinal distress.
Oh, how the times have changed. Over the past decade, the nutritional value in cafeteria food has increased exponentially. Follow me. These days, school cafeterias limit the amount of calories, fat, and sodium in the school lunches provided for students. Let's look at our state-of-the-art cafeteria. In today's modern kitchen, six and a half more cups of veggies are provided to school children per week. Here at the Mayfield High School, the food service is committed to promoting and providing our students with appealing, wholesome, and nutritious food choices. What are your opinions on today's school cafeteria foods? I believe it's a lovely nutritional value between whole grains and veggies. What do you think of the school lunches? I think it meets all the requirements of a delicious and healthy lunch. You work in the lunchroom, correct? Yes, I do. How are the cleaning habits in the lunchroom kitchen? I've never seen a cleaner kitchen in my day. Thank you. You're welcome. As you can see, the conditions in school cafeterias have changed drastically. Although nothing is perfect, Michelle Obama will fix all health issues in time.